Hello! Alright, we are going to do a quick uh, tutorial on how to create a, a quick animation using Google Slides. Okay, So, if you chose this option after looking at the Miyazaki assignment, uh, this is what you're going to try. Okay, So the first thing you do, you open up Google Slides, make a new slideshow, and go to up here, you go to blank, and it should open up a new page. All right, so it looks good so far. So I'm going to do a little housekeeping. So, like, for instance, I'm going to name this just so it doesn't get lost. Uh, I'm going to call it My Animation. Let's see if that works. Maybe. Looks like it's a little laggy. Let's try again. And I'm going to get rid of my themes. And I will get rid of my text box. I don't need that anymore. All right, so we are set to go. Now, before we start actually animating, just a quick reminder of how animations work. So if you've ever seen a cartoon or an animated movie, what it is is a bunch of individual images that are shown to you really, really, really quickly. Okay, And your brain fills in the gap between each picture. So it creates this illusion of movement, okay? So we have to create the images that your brain will fill in the gaps for, okay? Now, each slide is going to be its own image, okay? That's kind of how this is going to work. So over here on the left-hand side is where I'm going to have all my slides. Um, we're just going to do a five-slide animation for this demo. Uh, feel free to make this as complicated or as intricate as you'd like, um, but for the sake of this, we're just going to do a really fast, like a five frame image. Okay. Uh, we're also going to do something very simple. So we're just going to do a shape and have that shape move around. Okay. So we're going to start with shapes, maybe make it, let's make it a ball. So I'm going to make a circle. I'll change the color. So I think it's going to be gray. It's no fun. Let's make this look a little more rounded. So I go to my gradient about a red ball. There we go. So we have a red ball. We're going to make this ball look like it's going from over here on the left-hand side, and we're going to make the illusion of it moving over to the right, like that. Okay? So we're going to start over here. Now, later on, I'm going to show you that we're going to make this look like it's looping, like repeating over and over again. The reason I say that is because what you might want to do is have it start off the page a little bit, okay, so that it starts over on one side of the page and looks like it's leaving the other side, okay? So on slide one, it's going to look like it's off the page, okay? With me? All right, now we have to make an, a duplicate of this slide. So you can right-click on this slide over here, all right? So I go down to duplicate. Uh, if that, if you don't know how to right-click, that's the two-finger click on your, your mouse pad, uh, or you can go up to slide, and that's where duplicate slide is, okay? Now, so I've duplicated this, so I'm going to move this ball over a little bit, okay? So it's look, it goes, starts here, and it ends up here, and then it's going to keep moving to the right, okay? So I'm going to duplicate again. Again, I have to move the ball over, because mid slide should be about there again. And then one last time for my fifth frame. Okay. Now again, if you want to make more than five frames, that's totally up to you. Okay. We're just going to do a pretty, pretty fast one. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to move these speaker notes out of the way. A little bigger. Now, to check my work, I'm going to go over here and click on slide one and just kind of go through them with the arrow keys. Kind of go from one to the other. So you can see what like the, the general motion is there. Okay. Now, this is where it's going to get a little complicated. So what I would recommend is kind of follow along to a certain part in the video, hit pause, and then once you catch up, play the video some more, and then pause again when you get to another part that is too far along. Okay. All right, so this is where it gets a little tricky. So you're going to first go to File, 
and go all the way down to publish to the web. All right, see down here. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click both of these boxes. Okay. And then I'm going to hit publish. Okay. If it gives you this warning, just hit OK. That's fine. And what you'll get is this, this Google address, right? This web address. Uh, if I just copied it now, what it would do is every slide would be on the screen for three seconds, and then it would move to the next slide. Now, three seconds is a very long time, right? That it's, you're not going to get that illusion of movement that way. So you need to shorten that. This is where it gets a little tricky. So before I copy this code, see where it says 3,000 over here? I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to delete that. Oh, it's not going to work. All right, scratch that. Here's what you do. Copy it. And then bring it up here at the top of your screen into your address bar. You're going to hit paste there. So that's control V. Okay. Control and V like violin. Okay. All right. I think here is where I can edit it. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of the 3000 and I'm going to make it 75 or a hundred. Let's do a hundred. Now what that's doing is, see where it says delay ms equals 100? What that code stands for is it means it's going to delay, like pause, for milliseconds. So ms is milliseconds and equals 100. So right now it's going to pause for about 100 milliseconds, which is like a tenth of a second, right? So like that, right? A second ago it said 3,000, which means it's three seconds. So every millisecond is a thousandth of a second. Okay. All right, now if I did this right, if I hit return, what you'll see is that the screen's going to shift into the animation of the ball moving across the screen. Okay, so fingers crossed. I'm going to hit enter. Let's see if this works. All right, so so far so good. All right, looks like it's working. Um, good. All right, so now the way that you'd get this to me is two ways. One, you could either copy this web address up here, right? Just like triple click on it, copy it, paste it into an email to me, or maybe and also sent, share with me the, the slideshow that you made this animation in, okay? Um, I think if you did that, then I can kind of see what your, your process was on the, the slide side on the left hand side so I can kind of follow along with what you were planning and that should do it so again this is just to kind of play around with some basic animation tips um, I hope this works uh, if you get stuck with anything just shoot me a quick email and I'll see if we can troubleshoot it um, and we'll go from there so I'm excited to see what you all create um, and talk to you soon all right hang in there